Ready. Paper time. No. Paper time. <coughs> Come here. You love paper time, huh? Oh boy. Get out of my way. She crazy. Sunday. I have fixed breakfast for my love bug today and I have played with the kitties and I have taken a nap. So now I'm about to get ready to fix dinner for my dad and my stepmom. I try to do this every Sunday because they're older and they love to just eat out for every single meal. And so I, I try to fix them a meal once a week so that they can have something a little more nutritious and homemade, you know. So Today I am going to make them shepherd's pie. So let me show you what, what I'm going to use to get ready for that. Since it's just two of them, and this is how I always cook because it's just, I just have Daryl and myself, I'm just going to make the recipe in half. So I'm just using a half pound of ground beef, one can of tomato soup, this little 8.5 ounce can of corn, and this little 8, 8 ounce can of green beans and normally I use homemade mashed potatoes but these simply made ones are excellent of course all they are is real homemade mashed potatoes just frozen there's they're not um, potato flakes or anything like that and they also have country crock ones and I find that these simple simply potato ones are like maybe a dollar cheaper than the country crock and you'll also need a pie tin as well as cheese. I think I'll finally be using up this bag of cheese everyone and then I'll only have two more pounds to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is start my oven at 350 and then I will start cooking the meat. I'm just gonna make like taco meat out of it. Next, I'm going to season it with season all, onion, salt, and pepper. I season everything with onion salt. Just give it a stir. Now I'm going to pour the whole can of soup in. I'm just going to mix it all together. Then I drain the corn and the beans and now I'm just going to put them both in the pan. And then I'll stir it all together. Now it'll look just like that. Okay, for the potatoes, these just go in for three minutes and then you just vent this little crack open and then you put it in the microwave there you go go fat chicken fat go then after you take the potatoes out after three minutes you peel this all the way back and then you stir it up And then you kind of just <laughs> put it back over like that and then just cook it for one more minute. So my husband thinks that the chicken and stuffing casserole looked like throw up. He really thinks this looks like throw up. But it tastes really good. Okay, then you take the whole pan and just put it in the pie tin. And then you just start taking your potatoes and slopping it on. Then 
Then you just sort of start spreading the potatoes around to kind of even it out. I probably should have used a bigger pie tin, but I have these ones, the smaller ones, and I want to use them up. So when I put this in the oven, I'm going to put this on an actual baking sheet so that if it runs over, it won't slop all over into my oven. Mmm. Delicious. Okay, so it's on my, my cookie sheet. Now I'm just going to put just a little square of foil over it and then bake it for at 350. I'll probably bake this for 45 minutes even though I don't really have to cook it that long because everything's already cooked. I'll just cook it that long and make sure it's nice and hot. And then toward the very end I will put some shredded cheese on top of that. See you in a little bit. So here are the babies. They are enjoying their afternoon. They've already had newspaper time and I've already straightened these up, believe me. They have newspaper time. And then this is Lola's very favorite toy. It's her spoon and she naps with it and sleeps with it and lays on it and plays with it. It's her little favorite spoon. So I, I won't ever take it away from her. It's hers forever. And then this one likes to dance on it and stretch on it. It's so funny. So after we get done at my dad's, we are going, my, my husband and I are going to go to Sizzler for dinner. We have a $5 coupon and we have another coupon for steak and salad bar for $11.99 for two dinners. So yeah, we're going to go there and we have been making sure we don't snack all day so that we'll be extra hungry because we love Sizzler. Well, I especially love Sizzler. I love their steaks. Best steaks in all the land. I'm sorry. Everybody laughs at me when I say that, but I truly adore their steaks. Okay, so I took it out of the oven and obviously I had way too much in this little pie tin. So I just took it off the cookie sheet and put it in this other pan, which worked out pretty well. Now I'm going to top it off with the cheese. I think I need to get some more cheese. Okay, it's full of cheese. Now I'm going to put this foil back on top, put it in the oven, let it melt, and then we'll be on our way. All right, there's the finished product. And believe me, it is so good. I guess these guys will have dinner for the next week. Oh yeah. Mmm. Bread -hmm. pudding with ice cream on top. Mm. The slimier the better. I don't like poo pellets. So we scoop the little poo pellets and set them off to the side like that. Uh. <laughs> Rub that Buddha. Just got through with Sizzler and I am stuffed. So now my love bug's filling my tank with gas. And let me tell you what, I have to go to the bathroom. I cannot wait. I must go now. <sighs> okay. Made it home. And now I'm just fully digesting my dinner. So, later I'm going to watch Sister Wives. And then I'm going to bed. So, thanks for watching me today. I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a great night.